In this video, I'm going to talk about reference models and prepara preparation of reference models. This reference model, or this is actually an AutoCAD file, is available in the Dropbox link. I have given you the link, or you can go to our website and pick up the link uh, and download this CAD file from there. Usually, you insert architecture CAD files as a reference model. You do not normally insert structural drawings as a reference model because if you do, you are very likely to make mistakes in your modeling. So do not insert structural files, CAD or converted CAD, that is converted from PDF as reference models. You are likely to make big mistakes by doing that. Now if you look at this uh, CAD file, it has got the plan drawing, first floor, roof, sections, and various elevations. You got to understand and remember that uh, PDF drawings are normally master drawings. CAD file is just for reference. If you use a lot of times, what happens is the architects change dimensions manually. They just double click and edit dimensions to something else. And uh, that will not be the true dimension. Say, for example, 624540, they may edit to 6650. They may edit. But if you actually check this dimension, that will be 624. Four, five. This type of thing is very common. We have got a tool to check this type of dimensions. So here is the CAD file which I cleaned up uh, with a bit of a removed quite a few things. This is some more cleaning. The other thing to note is it is better to put the origin somewhere close to the plan. Normally, the architect's CAD file will have some grid lines. This particular CAD file does not have. If the grid lines are there, then it's easy to use that. But otherwise, you have to sort of set up a, a origin for this one. So for this plan view, what I have done is I have extended this line and uh, this line and came up this intersection. I am going to set the origin to this point before I go and do a W block of all these elements. So how I do that is I go with my UCS and I'm going to pick that point. So that's my origin now. I'm going to check the units. Units in millimeters. Can be it may be millimeters or meters, doesn't matter, but when you come into Tecla. You bring the reference model into Tecla. Tecla reads this parameter and scales the drawing accordingly. Now I am going to issue a command called W block. That's an AutoCAD command. W block. I am going to pick a folder. This one. Copy that. I'm going to paste that here. And I'm going to call whatever I'm going to call this one. I'm going to call ground floor GF. And what is the version I want to save it to? As I'm going to save it as AutoCAD version 2000. Okay, so now I have to select some objects. So I'm going to select all that and say OK. So this file was written here, so I'm going to open that file, zoom extends, and you can see that uh, this file is now clean, and it has got the ground floor in here. Okay, now let us uh, do a, another reference model. Let's say section A. 
this is a section A. So I'm going to W block this one. So I want those lines. So I'm going to trim those lines by putting a rectangle here. TR. Okay. Now I have to again pick an origin. So I am going to pick this point as an origin. So I go to UCS and uh, set that point as the origin and then I am going to W block W block defaults to the same folder so I am going to go section A ok select object I am going to select these objects and I am saying going to say ok ok this file is written here Okay, so this particular building has got these RLs 17.406, that is 17 meters, 406 millimeters, and these are the RLs. So I am going to set the Z value of our grid to these values. So I have used an Excel file and uh, subtracted a whole number from these RLs and got what is the difference here. Now to set the Z grid, I am going to set the Z value of the origin at 17,000. So what I have done is I have put 17,000 here and these are the RL values on the CAD file and this is the difference between these RL values and the origin. I have put this values here. Z axis grid works a little bit different to X and Y. So we are only putting one value here. Maybe we'll add a little bit more. I don't know how much. One second. The architect has not provided the grid lines in the X and Y it's probably RL, so we're using that, but X and Y no grid line. So I'm going to put the full width here, and uh, this is the other dimension. The X, one is in the X and other in the Y. I'm going to modify that. Okay. So where did it go? The grid just simply disappeared. Why did it disappear? There's a reason, because the grid origin is now at 17,000. Now if I go and create a view at 17,000, then you can see the grid. That's the grid. And I measure the horizontal distance. 2,3,5,0. Measure the vertical distance. One four five zero. Double click this. So that's what we have entered there. If I open a two point view, new view using two points, you can see the grid in the Z direction. So if I click on that one, these are the labels. And uh, what should be the RL? We have to check. These label and the RL must match. Otherwise, you will have some problem. So I have put a point here. And let me inquire the RL of this point. Selected. Right click. Inquire. It says 1700. That's no good. That is because I put the first uh, value as 0. The first value should be 406. So I go modify and now let us check. Select that point, new point I have put there. Enquire 17406. So that's good. And let's check the other RL values as well. So put here one point 
check inquire 24085 another one inquire 20895 one more yeah that's also good so the bottom line here is you can use an excel sheet uh, which is that Excel sheet which I used. This is the RL values defined by the nominated by the architect. I just subtracted a big value from there, the largest whole number and the difference. This is the difference. So let's look at the grid again. The grid, the grid again, the grid origin 17,000. Uh, what I have done there is deducted the largest number see 17 is the minimum 17 four zero six is the minimum so i just deducted 17000 there and then put it as the z value of the origin x and y tecla recommends to be kept as close as possible to the model origin which is zero zero if you have this big value here which the cad files will have if you check in cad files sometimes this is in thousands so hundreds of thousands so that if you just leave it there like that then you will have a big problem so you should bring that back to zero by setting the UCS close to zero zero and then the difference only is added here so with the Z axis uh, what you do with the Tecla Z grid is this is always from this origin so 406 then the next one is 3485 etc etc you have to I'll upload this file you download and check okay here is a view which I opened at an RL of 17,000 I'm going to in, insert the reference model the ground floor reference model into this view my reference models are in this folder, so I'm going to copy this path. Control C, Shift here. I click this button, add reference model, add model. I am going to browse for the model. I am going to paste this uh, path here, and I am going to pick up the ground ground floor dot dwg open and the z value because i have opened this view at 17000 and that's what the ground floor rl is about 17406 so i am going to put that 17000 and then i'm going to say add model let's do that again so i go to add model pick up the file which is ground floor open now there is this more button so code i don't know what it is used for i'm going to write here ground floor ground floor phase one we'll deal with phases a bit later so i'm going to write here gf arc file and this time i'm going to put at seventeen thousand. 70,000, scale is 1, rotation 0, add model. So here is the model. Now if I select this one, you can see all this model is selected. But if I click this button, which is uh, select objects in assembly, and then I select, you can see the entire model is not selected. Click this off and select, the entire model is selected. Uh, let's look at the properties of this one again so if i click on that one i can switch on layers i can switch on and off layers see that dimensions i'm switching off elevation text i'm switching off uh, hatch i'm switching off i don't know there are many things ground floor doors I am switching off you may want to switch on and off you have some control 
because you don't want to see all the all everything all the time also i can switch off the entire layers on and off here also i can switch off the reference model from here see the other thing is if i double click this view display i can tick this off if i tick this off all reference models will be switched off irrespective of whether it's on or off here there it is click back and modify here switch off switch on now let me check the rl value of the cat file itself so i go to points points at any position so i'm going to click this one and then put a point here select the point and inquire so that is at 17000 that's why we have inserted that one see these items that must have been in the cat file like that but uh, with the 2d without tilting it we couldn't we did not notice it in the autocad file now let us add the section AA this is a section AA so what I'm going to do first is going to open a view on section AA so I go to view new view using two points and I'm going to pick two points and open a view so here is a view now I am going to add the section view here so I'm going to go add model Browse section A open this time I'm going to pick where I want to insert so I go pick and I click there now let me check the RL value of the CAD file itself so I go to points points at any position so I'm going to click this one and then put a point here select the point and inquire so that is at 17,000 that's why we have inserted that one see these items that must have been in the cat file like that but uh, with the 2d without tilting it we couldn't we did not notice it in the AutoCAD file now let us add the section AA this is a section AA so what I'm going to do first is going to open a view on section AA so I go to view new view using two points and I'm going to pick two points and open a view so here is a view now I am going to add the section view here so I'm going to go add model browse section A open this time I am going to pick where I want to insert so I go pick and I click there this time I am going to set the coordinate system parallel to the view plane this is the view we opened by picking two points along the section AA line so I go to work plane parallel to U plane and click here and you can see how the coordinate system has changed now I am going to do add model I am going to change location by model origin to by work plane the work plane is now based on this coordinate system and now I'm going to pick the model which is section AA open I'm going to pick and now the reference CAD file is added to the Tecla model once you add the model you got to check that whether the model is lining up correctly with the plan view which is already added so what I have done here is I put a point here and I put a corresponding point in the plan view which represents the same wall then what I do is a clear and pick the two points that point and this point so 
So that's the x coordinate system. In the x axis, it is lining up. So this model lines up in the x axis. I have to check the y z axis now. So I go here. So this is the reference model for 17.046. I'm going to put a point there. Point at any position, I'm going to put a point there. I'm going to check. I don't want to pick the reference model anymore. So I click that off. I select the point. Inquire. 17, 17, 4, 5, 6. The RL is not correct. That is supposed to be 17, 4, 0, 6. So I'm going to move the point down by So let's see, check again. Inquire 7456. Okay, it's 50 mm above. I'm going to move the point down by 50 mm. So go there, minus 50, move. So oh, good. Okay, move that point by 50 mm and did another inquire. So you have to look at that, not the local coordinate system. You have to look at the global coordinate system. See, that's the global coordinate system. The z value is 17406. That is where we want the reference model to be. So that point is at the right position. So let me click back, select reference models, selected. So that one, if I move by 50 mm, I should get it to that point. So I go to edit uh, move spatial linear along the y-axis this is the local coordinate system so along the y-axis 50 mm interrupt I'm going to select that one and move so it has moved to this point so these are the two reference models and now there are many more reference models to be inserted which is section D, section C, section E, all these other sections and the first floor plan and the roof plan. I'm going to upload this CAD files to Dropbox. You download the CAD file and this Tecla model and insert all the reference models by next class. Thank you very much.